Hello everyone, I am the Unity Dude and in this tutorial I will teach you how to make a simple main menu for your Unity game. The end result will be as shown in this video. The UI asset I will be using for this game is Cartoon Game UI Pack. The asset comes with a complete collection of all the elements required for creating a beautiful menu. It includes beautiful animations and sound effects for all the UI elements. The link for Cartoon Game UI Pack is available in the description of the video. So let's get started with the tutorial. I have an empty scene and the first thing we are going to do is create a UI canvas. In the UI canvas, change the scale mode to screen size and set the reference resolution. Inside the canvas, create an empty object for the main menu. Set its anchor to stretch across the whole screen. And now, let's add a background image to our menu. Again, set the anchors of the background to stretch across the whole screen. Change the sprite of the background image. Let's add a label at the top for the menu name. And now we are ready to add buttons to our menu. Create a new button, change the background image of the button to something nice. Adjust the size of the button as required for your game. Next, change the font and the text of the button. This will be the play button in our menu and it will be used to start the game. Create two duplicates of this button and position them as required for your menu. At the top we will have the button to start the game. The button in the middle will open up the options menu. And finally with the bottom button we can quit the game. The user interface for our main menu is now ready. Let's get started with the coding part. On the main menu game object, create a new script which I will call main menu manager. In the script, we will create three functions for the three buttons we created in our user interface. The function for when we click the play button, the function for when we click the options button, and the function for when we click the quit button. Now, there are multiple ways to implement the code for the play button. You can load a new scene which has your game in it, or if you have a level selection menu, you can enable that before starting the game. In this tutorial, I will load a new scene for the game. For loading a scene, the first thing we need is the scene management library. And now in the play function, simply call load scene and pass the name of your scene as a parameter. Next, when the user clicks on the options button, we are simply going to enable the options menu game object. For this, create a new game object variable as a reference of the options menu game object. And now, when the user presses the options button, call the set active function of the options menu game object. Finally, when the user clicks on quit, call the application.quit function. Back to Unity, we need to assign the options menu to the script. For this, let's quickly create an empty menu with just a background and a close button. Add an image for the background of the options menu. At the top left, Add a label for the menu name. And at the top right, add the close button. And that's it. Just an empty options menu for the tutorial. Next, Go to the play button of the main menu. In the inspector tab, at the bottom, find the on click property. 
Here, attach the game object with the main menu script. And then, select the function which we created for this button. Repeat this process for the other buttons in the menu. Next, on the main menu script, attach the options menu game object. Next, we need the code for closing the options menu. Normally, this will be inside the options menu script. However, for this tutorial, I'm just going to create this function inside the main menu script. In this function, we are simply going to call setActiveFunction with the false parameter. Back to Unity, assign this function to the back button of the options menu. Make sure that the options menu is disabled on start. And now let's create a new scene which we will open when the user clicks on the play button. I'm just going to add a spinning cube to the scene and then save it. Make sure that the name of the scene is the same as the one you used in your script. Next, go to the build settings. You can open the build settings from the file menu. Here, add both your scenes by dragging and dropping them. Again, we can see that the name of the game scene matches exactly the name we used in our script. Back to Unity, open up the menu scene and test the code. Since we are running the game inside of Unity, the quit button will not work. The options button and the play button both work as we want them to. Let's build the project to test our quit button. And perfect. All the buttons are working just as we want them to. Our main menu is now ready. That's it for creating a main menu in the Unity game engine. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe.